One of my favourites is one called A Voluptuary Under the Horrors of Digestion, and that is a depiction of the Prince Regent or, you know, George III's oldest son, the future George IV. It's a pair of prints, one of which uh, the other one shows his father, but this one shows George IV. I mean, the centre of the print is this enormous sphere, this bulbous form, and that is the prince's tummy itself. <laughs> so it's got this massive round tummy right in the middle and the prince is kind of reclining in this chair. He's picking um, at his teeth with a fork because he's just finished this enormous meal. Uh, you could see on the table there's bones strewed out, there's... Uh, he's kind of bitten it looks like. He looks like he's actually just bitten into a great hunk of meat. There are empty glasses, there are bottles rolling around the floor, and then there's all these clues, you know, so this is the great thing about Gilray, is you can play this game where you can kind of tick off what clues you can find. So in the bottom corner we've got this um, this pile of little books, and this this shows his uh, the horse horse racing and the the kind of um, the the racing tips for that week if you like you know and that's a real hint to his terrible gambling habit and behind him there's this overflowing chamber pot you know really suggesting that he's this horrible kind of um, you know unclean character lazy gluttonous that sort of thing and then there are all his bills unpaid and debts unpaid so lots of basically kind of receipts that haven't been paid or invoices that haven't been paid and then there are all these kind of medical potions which you know the doctor trying to deal with all of his his various illnesses because of his indulgences and then there's this prince of wales coat of arms but gilray very carefully here has replaced what would be the coat of arms with the thing that this prince holds most dear, which is a knife and fork. And then in the window in the background, there is this kind of building works where you can see these classical columns. And this is him building Carlton House. And Carlton House was this incredibly wasteful project. I mean, you think about the way that people criticise the government today about, oh, you waste all this money on this building work. But it, honestly, what George IV did really put that to, to shame because, you know, he spent all of these years building this extravagant palace, basically, in the centre of London with all these different rooms and, you know, at the at vast expense on, on public money. And then when he became king, he just knocked it down. I mean, this whole image, if you look at all the details, it's really this quite detailed portrait of George IV and all of his follies and foibles. Um, and I think Gilray's just captured it really wonderfully.